As the climate warms, scientists are racing to save a tiny songbird that travels thousands of miles to raise its young on New England and the Adirondacks' tallest alpine summits. Globally, Bicknell thrush are declining at about 4% per year. We're concerned about this species. It's confined to these mountaintops across New England and New York in these high elevation montane forests. As climate change progresses, that habitat can be pushed further up the mountain. So it's been really important to keep an eye on the populations of these birds that are already sort of hanging on by a thread. Once a week, we all meet up at the bottom of the toll road here on Mount Mansfield, drive up as a team, and then set up nets. Birds up here are very active around sunset and dawn, so the crew works quickly to get all the nets set up before dusk. It'll catch birds in ways that bring no harm to them, and we just go around and check these nets every 45 minutes to an hour to make sure they're not sitting out in the sun or the cold for too long. Yeah, this is always a good spot to pause when you're like halfway out setting up nets. We've got one bird in the net here. So each bird goes into a cotton bag where we can carry it back to our processing station. We take them out and process them looking at their age, the sex, the wing, length, and the tail. Tail length is 59 even. Checking if it has any parasites, and then release them. We think of Bicknell thrush and other songbirds that migrate as our birds because they're up here raising their young. But really, Bicknell thrush are spending more of their annual cycle on Hispaniola and in Cuba. The trip from Vermont to these islands in the Caribbean Sea is about 1,600 miles. You're okay, you're gonna get going soon. This research has helped uncover the exact patterns of the bird's migration. Within the past five years, GPS technology, which has been advanced through things like smartphones, have been made small enough that they are able to be placed on birds that wear like a backpack and then around the legs. The technology is just moving along so incredibly fast. So this is the antenna this new archival GPS tags, it's a lot more accurate so we can find out not only that this bird was spending time in the general area of northern Haiti, for example, we can find out exactly which patch of forest it was spending time in and where in that forest it was moving down to a few meters. These Vermont scientists share the data with colleagues in the Caribbean to protect those forests from being cut down. Now it's up to uh, our partners to really conserve those habitats, to protect them, to restore them, to recover them. Um, and that's what's going to make the future of the species, um, you know, viable. One of the first private biosphere preserves in the Dominican Republic was created for Bicknell's thrush, and it is a coffee plantation as well. So there are ways that you can manage for economic benefit across the hemisphere while also providing the birds with habitat. So look for the little bird-friendly sticker. For Vermont Public, I'm Abigail Childs.